Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while, like a long time since I put out a video, but life has been a little bit crazy, but I'm happy to be back. And if you don't know me and you're new here, welcome and I'm happy to have you here. I am excited to let you guys know that today's video is in partnership with Merit Beauty. They did send me a couple products and I am so excited to share them with you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, my first Instagram collaboration was with Merit Beauty and now they are my first one here and I am so happy to be working with them again. I genuinely love their products. Um, their motto is less is more and honestly their products really do that for me. Their products are um, vegan, cruelty free and they're just honestly amazing and I highly highly recommend their products and you'll see them in action in my get ready with me. I wanted to spice up this get ready with me with some questions and answers. A few of you guys asked me questions on Instagram, so I'm gonna be answering those in this video. So if you wanna to get to know me and see how I do my everyday makeup routine, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I am fresh face right now. I've been trying to go for more of like a natural look. So this is my bare face. I have nothing on my face except for my lashes and they're like kind of the tail end of my last fill. So everything else is bare face. I did my skincare routine. So I'm just gonna start with this Rare Beauty primer. There you go. I'm just gonna put two pumps in my hand and I'll rub it on my face. While I do that, let me answer the first question. But the first question that was asked to me, or I guess one of the most common ones, was what was my favorite part of my Hawaii trip? Hawaii is my favorite place to visit. So there are many things that are my favorite part, but I honestly have to say that my favorite moment was finally meeting Bretman Rock. Honestly, I've been to Hawaii like, I wanna say three times, but I've never met him and I always like, it was on my bucket list and I finally did and the best part is he was so sweet, he is so nice. I still can't believe that that happened. When it happened, I was shaking, like I was looking through clothes and my hands were like this and I just, I just can't believe I met him because he was definitely someone on my list of people that I wanted to meet. So that was probably one of the best parts. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with their foundation stick. So this stick is meant to be both used as foundation and concealer and I honestly use it as both. It is so soft and smooth and blendable. Um, and then what I use to blend it with is their brush. I think this is like their number one brush, but everything will be in the description box down below, including a link that you can shop um, with me. So um, this is the brush and this is the foundation. This is in the color khaki. I honestly don't know what color I am. So I'm just gonna draw like a couple lines on my face and blend it out. I'm gonna answer the next question. And the next question is like, what got me into content creation or how did I get started in content creation? Uh, this is kind of like a long winded question or like answer, I guess. So I discovered YouTube when I was in like eighth grade. I don't even know, like I was pretty young and I remember discovering YouTube and finding Juicy Star 07 and her sister. And I was honestly obsessed. Like I remember watching it and being like, okay, this is what I wanna do. But I was a little shy girl and to this day, I still care a lot about what people think of me. So that's definitely what put a halt to it and waited and like what made me wait so long to start content creation but honestly i don't think i've ever looked back like i'm so happy i started my goal is always to help people and spread positivity so that's definitely why that's also that extra push that i use to get into uh, content creation but as you can see it's super blendable and buildable so if i wanted to touch more on like my redness around my nose area, then I would just put a little bit more uh, foundation there with the stick. And yeah, so that's it for the foundation. As you can see, it concealed everything pretty well. It's super natural, but it just does the job. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with their brow slick, I think it's called. Um, as you can see, my brows are naturally very dark and bushy and need some taming. 
So I don't do much to them at all. I just kind of brush something through it. So I'm gonna use this, and I don't know what shade it's in. Oh, it's in black brown, and I'll just brush it through. Let me answer two. So the first one is, the first thing I like to do to start my day, so usually I take my dog out for a walk. It kind of like gives me that time to get fresh air and absorb the day before like going on my phone, checking emails and things like that. So that's definitely the first thing I like to do. And then obviously coffee. Like I am a coffee addict and I need my coffee or else I can't function. Um, and I guess that ties into my next question is what do I do for work or like what is my full-time job? So my full-time job is in marketing. I'm a marketing manager at a local shopping center. So there I do marketing for the mall, like gift card campaigns, things like that. Um, pretty exciting. I did take marketing in school and I just brush it through. I like to brush up to give my brows like a fluffier look. I'm scared of my brows looking a little bit too dark, but, oh great. As you can see, that made a huge difference already in my brows. So I just brushed this through lightly, get my brows looking fluffy, and that's all I do for my brows really. Um, I really like this product. It kind of darkens it, but it's super natural. So that is the brows. Moving on to the next question. You and your boyfriend are so cute. How did you meet and how long have you been together? I feel like I get this question a lot. Um, before I answer that question, I'm gonna go in with a highlight and this is in the color Cava. Not a huge like highlighter person. I don't know much about what I'm doing, but this is such a pretty color. Um, but yeah, so my boyfriend and I have been together for nine years. So quite some time the poor guy has dealt with me. <laughs> um, but we met through a mutual friend and I remember getting in the car that day and telling my sister and my aunt that I was like obsessed with him. Okay, like not obsessed he'll probably say yeah you were but i was just like i'm definitely gonna marry that guy one day like i called it from that day yeah so he'll probably say i was obsessed but that day i was just like he is so cute but he is younger than me so i think i think at the time i was like hell no like i can't date somebody younger than me but he is great. He's a lot more mature than I am. That is the highlight. I kind of just brush it over my nose and up here. Um, and sorry, that question was kind of all over the place. Nothing exciting. We met through a mutual friend. I was obsessed. We became friends and then eventually we both decided maybe there's something here and now we've been together for nine years. So that answers that question. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to blush. I just have this pretty like peachy pink color and I think it's in the color Beverly Hills. So what I've loved to do with my blush is kind of putting it like on the higher part of my cheek and then on my nose to give like that sunburnt, whatever, sun-kissed look, I guess you could say. So I kind of just like brush it on and on my nose. And then I take a beauty blender. I wet it just a little bit just to be able to blend it out a little bit more. And let me look for the next question. So the next question is who do you look up for, who do you look up to for fashion inspo and then tips on styling? So I don't, like, I guess I just look up to Instagram for styling. There's a lot of Instagram accounts that I love for styling, but even just like my fellow content creators, I love looking at their stuff for fashion inspo. I go to Pinterest a lot and then Instagram a lot and I just kind of save things. I don't really have specific people that I look up to. I kind of just feed off of like who I follow and if I love one of their outfits, I'll definitely recreate it. 
And then as for tips for styling, I have a pretty, like I would say my style is pretty simple. I have like a three piece rule. So I do pants, top, and something over my top. I feel like as long as you have your core three pieces that you're gonna be using, it's easy to accessorize from there. Like my best styling tip is to wear what makes you feel good. So if it makes you feel good, nobody will ever question you on what you're wearing or they'll never like, be like, what the hell is she wearing? Because if you carry yourself well, people will be like, well, damn, like what she's wearing is really freaking cute. So I would say my tip for styling, number one, is always be confident in what you're wearing. Wear clothes that make you feel good. And then my three piece rule. So always have your base three pieces and then go from there. So as you can see, I feel like this light washes me out a little, but I did put quite a bit of blush on. So that's what I do kind of like for the face part. I am pretty low maintenance or like low key with my face makeup. And that's why I love Merit Beauty because it's so quick and easy. Like I went through, the only reason this took me longer than expected is because I'm talking. <laughs> um, but other than that, if I were to do foundation, highlight, blush and brows, I probably would have finished that in about like I would say five minutes. It's so easy and as you can tell, their products are super blendable and really light on the face. Okay, so I don't typically wear eyeshadow every day, but if I'm feeling like I wanna spice it up just a little bit, my Dose of Colors Pretty Cool palette and I'll just take like any light brown and like a brush like this and I'll just put it over my crease very lightly just to add some dimension to my eye. So just super light. Okay, moving on to the last part of my makeup and this is the lips. So Merit Beauty has just launched some new colors for fall in their lip oils and I got two colors. I'm not, I can't remember if Sangria was new, but this is more of like a deep uh, red color. And then I got the taupe color, which I've been so excited for because I've been seeing a lot of people on my Instagram using this color. Um, but they launched their new colors in Sephora on August 24th, and so now you can grab them there. This is the color Taupe, and I love their lip oils because it adds like that perfect amount of color, but it's natural and it's super hydrating your lips. As you can see, it's like a very natural, very pretty, and super hydrating um, color. And so this is my full face of Merit Beauty, minus my primer and my eyeshadow, but everything else is Merit Beauty. So I'm just gonna do my hair, and maybe as I do my hair, I'll answer the last question. And again, everything will be linked down below with the shades and my link as well for you to shop um, everything. Uh, but let me just go grab my curling iron and I will be right back. Okay, so I grabbed my curling iron, I checked on my dog, pin my hair up, ready to curl it. Actually, this ties into another question is how do you keep your hair blonde blonde? So it's a little bit difficult um, after or like during vacation because I was like in and out of chlorine, salt water, sun, and I just didn't want to add a lot of damage to it. So I didn't do my purple shampoo as much, but my go-to purple shampoo is the Fanola No Yellow. But I recently tried the Bondi Boost one that was sent to me. I loved it and I did notice that it was pretty pigmented just like the Fanola one. So I would definitely recommend either or. And I also recommend not washing your hair as often to kind of like keep that toner in. But that's pretty much my trick to keeping it blonde. Um, shower less. I think somebody recommended cold showers. So I definitely use colder water on my hair and then the Fanola No Yellow Shampoo or the Bondi Boost one. And then some treatments obviously to keep it from being super dry. My hair needs a treatment for sure. So I recommend the Juice by Area one or the Olaplex number eight, I believe. Okay, so one of the last questions that was asked to me was, how do you stay motivated? And I feel like that's such a hard question for me to answer because I am definitely not always motivated, especially not recently. It's so hard with like the algorithms and like just feeling like you're like you're putting in all this work, but it's not, I guess, showing. But I definitely stay motivated because I remember my why. So 
My why wasn't always to make this into a full-time job, though I would love to do content creation as my full-time job. My thing that I love is helping people. I've always been that way, like regardless of content creation. So I remind myself like why I started. So I wanted to start for people that are short like me and maybe are a little bit more mid-size or they just need some help with their wardrobe. Like I love fashion so much. I love shopping with my friends. They ask me for advice and I give it. So I stay motivated by remembering my why. Even with fitness and like health, I am definitely not always motivated. I have been up and down. My trainer, Doll Fitness on Instagram, I'll link her down below and you can see her here. She has been, I guess, my push always. She is amazing. She knows what you, like, she just knows how to help you and I highly recommend following her for any advice on fitness and health, but she definitely helps remind me like why I'm starting. And sometimes it takes like you writing it down or you kind of just telling yourself every day, like this is why I'm doing this. And also one of my friends also reminded me to love the process. You gotta always remember to love the process, even the lows. But yeah, that's how I stay motivated. <laughs> Remembering my why and doing things like taking a break. There's really nothing wrong with taking a break. And just remember that just as much as people want to see you win, you have to want to win for yourself as well. I'm sorry if it was all over the place. I clearly am awful at multitasking. I don't know why I thought I could um, answer questions while doing my makeup. So I hope I answered everybody's questions and I hope you also got to see how amazing Merit Beauty's products are. That's how it looks like combed out. As you can see, it's like very beachy waves. Yes. Okay, congratulations guys. You made it to the end of my super talky talk video. I know I talked a lot and I think my brain was kind of all over the place because I was trying to answer questions, but also trying to show you guys these amazing products from Merit Beauty. Again, I highly, highly recommend checking out their products. They're amazing and they really have changed my makeup routine. Um, so my links will be down below for all the products, including my shades and everything. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to DM me on Instagram. I will be more than happy to help you. Thank you again to Merit Beauty for sending me these products. I honestly am so thankful and can't believe that I get to do things like this. Thank you so much to everybody for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know what you wanna see from me. I'm always happy to create content. Also, let's just have one last look at this makeup look with my hair done and everything. This is the makeup look. Very natural, very easy, so fast. Check out Merit Beauty, you won't regret it. See you in the next one.